Hello everyone, my name is Greg and I'm a tutor with Czech Tutors and today we will just be talking about forces. So the formal definition of a force is an interaction that when unopposed will change the motion of an object. So some examples that you can think of would be, you know, the force due to gravity. So essentially why this mouse falls is because of the fact that there's gravity and that it's forcing this object down. And even more uh, visible or intuitive force would be you know pushing someone on a swing if someone is sitting on a swing is at rest and then you push them they're obviously going to move forward and that's because you applied a force to them another example would be you know doing a pull up on a pull up bar you're applying a force to that bar which then in turn allows you to pull yourself up also friction between two objects there's a force due to friction so for if you just take your hands and try to rub it against each other you feel that there is some resistance there it's not perfectly smooth and that is because there's friction and which is which can cause a force so the general equation for force which is the second law of motion would be force equals mass times acceleration or simply F equals MA so we have M equals the mass which the unit would be kilograms Acceleration would be in meters per second squared. So if you multiply those two together, you'd get a unit of kilogram meters per second squared, which would equal one newton, which is the um, SI unit for force. And that can be written as a capital N. So let's do a quick example here. We have, we said, say we have so a regular ball in free fall on Earth. If we neglect air resistance, the only force acting on this ball would be the force due to gravity that would be going downwards, as seen by this arrow. Because, and you, we know that because when you see a ball falling, you see it going down, which means the force is going down. You don't see the ball just, you know, rising up for no reason. If you see a ball in free fall going down, the only force acting on it, if we neglect air resistance, is the force due to gravity pointing downwards. And using new, the second law of motion, we have F equals MA. If the ball weighs a mass of 1 kilogram and the acceleration due to gravity on Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared, we just multiply those two together and we get a force of 9.8 newtons. Another example would be just sliding a box across a floor. As you can see here, there's a box here. If we say that the surface is frictionless, there essentially is no, no no force of friction so the only force acting in the horizontal direction would be this F here and that causes the box to accelerate to, in the, to the right as seen by this arrow the red arrow now this box not only has this force F here but it also has a force due to gravity acting downwards any object on earth has a force due to gravity, so let's just write F subject G. And it also has a force acting upwards from the surface, which we call the normal force, capitalized by big N. So essentially, if we didn't have a normal force, then that means the box would just fall straight to the ground. But since it's on a surface, that surface has to be holding that box up, and that is what the normal force is. But because this box isn't accelerating up or down, we know that the normal force and the force due to gravity will cancel each other out, which means that the only force left is this horizontal force F here, and that causes it to accelerate horizontally. Now in our last example, we have another box sliding across the surface. If we apply an external force F, we know that the box would accelerate to the right. However, that is not the only horizontal force acting on it. We also have the force due to friction here between the box and the surface. Now this force of friction always opposes the motion of this box, which means this box would not accelerate as fast as a box on a frictionless surface because it has friction holding it back. Now say for example, if F force of F is greater 
in the force of friction, then this box will accelerate to the right. However, if the force F is less than the force of friction, I'm sorry, if that force of F is equal to the force of friction, the box will not accelerate at all because they oppose each other. Since they're opposing each other, there is the net force on the box is zero, so it's not going anywhere. So essentially, that really is what forces are all about. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. And I hope this is all clear to you, and thank you.